The next two examples both deal with applications of polynomial equations. In example 9, we have a company that wants to expand its workforce. The following formula estimates the number of items that it can produce, T, by hiring X new workers. How many new workers should they hire to produce 319,935 items at the lowest possible cost? What that means is we want to solve this equation set equal to 319,935. We can do that in Wolfram Alpha simply by solving that given equation set equal to this desired production level. And we get four different, four different results. Two of these we can just throw out. The values that have the I in there, if you've dealt with complex numbers, imaginary numbers before, you may have a slight familiarity with that. Otherwise, just don't worry about them. They're not answers that make sense in our context. That narrows us down to the first two solutions. So either, produce, either hiring 34 workers or 56 workers will give us the desired result but we had the added statement in our question that we want to do this at the lowest possible cost. The more people we hire, the more money we have to spend. So if we can hit the same production target with fewer employees, we want to do it with that fewer number of employees if what we're looking at doing is cost cutting. So we would want to hire 34 workers. In example 10, we'll have another case where we're going to come up with multiple solutions, and we'll want to pay attention to this language at the lowest possible cost and use that to weed out the results that we don't want. In this case, our formula gives us the number of items N a company will sell after spending X thousand dollars on an advertising campaign. How much did they spend if they want to sell 579,471 units? at the lowest possible cost. Again, what we'll do is solve our given equation set equal to this desired target and solve that equation. We'll convert all these answers to approximate forms. Two of our solutions, again, have that imaginary component, that letter I, so we'll throw those out. What we're left with is that we can hit this uh, sales goal, selling this number of items, uh, by either spending x equals 30 or x equals about 72 units on an advertising campaign. We want to do this at the lowest possible cost, so we'll choose x is approximately 30. I refer to that as 30 units because we will need to make one last adjustment here. Our value for x is in thousands of dollars, so we came up with a value of x is approximately 30. To generate how much that means spending on our campaign, we need to multiply that by 1,000. So what we'll do in this case is spend approximately $30,000 on this advertising campaign and that will get us the number of, the number of units sold that we're after.